Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Stonehearth Alpha 21. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited to be back here with the nerds of the mountain. There have been a couple of changes since the last episode. You might notice I've gone ahead and uh, built a few more structures. That isn't the only thing I've done, though, and you might be able to see what that thing is. Yep, we got some pathways. We got some staircases. We got some pathways. We got some new buildings around here. Uh, I even went ahead and built a sort of wall here because I thought it would look kind of cool to you know, have a proper little wall set up along all of this, so we've got, like, railings and stuff for the pathways. I just, I don't know, I got a little bit carried away just playing this in my downtime and was like, yeah, I kind of don't want to start a new game to play off camera, so I decided to just do a bit of building with this one. And honestly, I mean, designing buildings, I like doing that in a video. Uh, looking at the completed buildings, I like doing that in a video. I'm not as much a big fan of the actual building process in video, because it's just, I'm just sat there watching. It's a very passive thing for me. So, you know, actually designing the buildings and all that I'll do on camera, but actually building them I might try and cut out at some point in future, but we'll see how that goes. Let's get these guys killed here nice and quickly. There we go. Job absolutely done. Daily updates coming in, and there's an interesting little fact about the daily update. We have the food and we have the net worth quite considerably because I've actually been declining new settlers between episodes because I didn't really want to, you know, bring it up to 28, 29 people off camera. So we're going to be immediately accepting a 28th Harsling, and that is going to be Azalea Umaya. All right, interesting name. We need to actually get you a... We need to get you a name from the comments of the previous episode. We'll do that in just a second. I need to load up my browser because I didn't have it open. So we'll go to me community tab on YouTube. We'll go to Stonehearth Reyes Children Part 13 Monkey Monument. Oh, what do we got? Someone suggested we get a second potter. My first one is overworked. That is very, very true. Oh, man. Oh, wow. We've got our uh, Archie's 10 with a lot of name suggestions. Good Lord. Manny, Johnny, Ronnie, Donnie, Lonnie, Sonny, Fairy, uh, Nanny, Fanny, Franny, Randy, Abby, Addie, Maddie, Mace. Oh, good Lord. I'm not going to go through all of those. Let's go with, um, let's go with Abby. Abby's a nice one. So we'll go with Abby. We've got Abby as the 28th hardest thing. That was a lot of names, though. I really appreciate that. Good Lord. How many more we got? We got Macy, Casey, Casey, Ka three versions of Casey. We got Lacey, Henry, Andy, Kimmy, Libby, Hattie, Lindsay, Dory, Holly, Do Holly, Dolly, Molly, Sully. Wow, that, that keeps going. Like, that's not even halfway through. That's, um, that's a lot of names. I appreciate it, though. You guys have really been coming out in force with the names all through this series. It's really cool to see. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, just, you know wanted to mention. Uh, I've also gone ahead and added a couple more of the fire pits around the place. Just so we have lots of light at night time. Uh, but I'm not sure how many trees or how many bits of wood we have. So what I'll do is I'm going to give an order to uh, go ahead and chop down a bunch of trees over here so we can get ourselves a decent amount of wood. So we'll chop all of those down and uh, that'll do some good stuff for us. Oh, this is done! I didn't realize we'd finished this. I don't know why. Oh, there is still a build order there because that's being a bit weird. Um, can we get a ladder there to fix that problem? But that's pretty cool to see. It means we can go ahead and put a little staircase over here. Which I'm very excited about. Oh, there we go. Now it's done. We'll remove the ladder. Uh, I said we'll remove the ladder. There we go. So get that removed. I think some people are out doing some stuff with the trees. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have any wood because none of the fire pits are currently lit up. So that's a bit of an issue. Uh, but hopefully we'll see someone come along and remove the ladder because then I can remove this one and I can go ahead and build myself a nice little staircase over here. So you're going to get rid of that. Uh, I would like that one to go as well. Thank you very much. And then what I think we'll do is we'll go to design. We'll go to here. Uh, we'll pause for a second while that attack's incoming. Um, so the staircase here is, I'm thinking, just going to be a solid one. I think that's going to be fair. And I think I'll go for... I think I'll go for this. 
right here. We'll go for that. We'll do a staircase there, there, and there. And uh, we'll say finished editing and build. Start the building. Finished editing, build. Finished editing and build. All right, so we'll get those built at some point. Where are we being attacked from? Aha, right. Yeah, that's definitely a bit of an issue. Red team, I'm going to need you guys to come out here and deal with these guys because they are... Uh oh, let's get alert mode going. Get people into the town. It's not safe. It's not safe. First time we've actually needed alert mode in a while. Good Lord. Uh, let's turn it off, though, because I think we're probably good at this point. Then we will also... Actually, I think they're going to... Yeah, they're prioritizing that guy. No problem. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So hopefully we'll get the stairs built over here pretty quickly. And uh, you know what? I think we will go for a second potter. I think that's going to be a really good idea. So I think it's, I think the mason, Barry, needs to make me the potter's cutter. So we'll get that done. I'm also aware that some people might not, might not have beds around here. Uh, we don't actually have enough net worth for another hearthling, so that's kind of okay. Have I assigned these beds? Um, yes, I have. What about this one? Yes, I have. That's Rhea. Uh, these places up here I haven't assigned yet, so that one can be Abby. And I think that'll be okay. You know, I'm really tempted to go through here and reassign all of the beds. Alternatively, I could go into the mountain and remove all of the, um, all of the beds here so that everybody gets unassigned if they still sleep inside the mountain. And I think, to be honest, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go through and slowly remove all of these beds, which is a bit of a pain, I know, because we spent so long, you know, well, we didn't spend that long, but we spent a while getting these rooms together and making it look all nice. But I want to start, you know, moving everybody out of the mountain. We have a lot of space for people to sleep outside of the mountain. I don't want them sleeping in here anymore. So all of those beds are gonna go, we got some fancy homes, we got some nice places, so that's all gonna go. That's all gonna go into storage, and that's gonna let me know who does and does not still have a bed, and that means we can uh, figure out just how many more structures we're actually gonna need to build over here. Hopefully not too many more, because that would totally be a pain. Uh, so now that the beds are gone, what we can do is we can hit V, and is this bed assigned to anybody? Um, oh, they already... Oh, God, they all still own similar objects. Ah, uh, that's a pain. All right. Um, let's go down the list. So Jerry owns that. And then Barry is the mason, so no. Uh, Terry... Is there a bed in the cook's place? No. Okay. I want Terry the cook to live in there. And then Barry is going to live in there. I realize I can run the simulation while I do this. Um, so Barry lives in there. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so next up is... I'm going to try and go through this in a reasonable way. Uh, so Amy owns that one. Jenny owns that one. And then this one isn't owned by anybody. So this is going to be owned by... Larry. And that's fine. Fred should own this. Which he doesn't. That is the potter's place, right? Yeah. So Fred should own that, which he doesn't. But now he does. Next up, this is Rhea's place here. If I'm not mistaken. So that's, that's Rhea. This one should be Sherry. This one is already assigned. Uh, then if we go back a little bit, this one is the Weaver which is not assigned either. So that's going to be Carrie. Uh, we've already assigned the cook. This one here is just a house for two, if I'm not mistaken. So let's do Barry and let's do the archer in here. So Mary, Barry and Mary in there. Then in here, we're going to go for, let's see. What are we going to go for in here? We could go for... We do. We could do Emmy in there. And we could do the other farmer, whoever that was. Penny, just there. Upstairs, we're going to go for... Um, I reckon... I think the Herbalist already has somewhere. We'll do Harry. 
And we'll do the next footman, which was Rory. I think the carpenter can live over here because the carpenter doesn't actually have a workshop. So the carpenter is going to live here for the time being. Uh, then the next downstairs one is going to be Perry. Then upstairs, we're going to go for Allie. And then up here, we're going to go for whoever's next, which is Bodhi or Body. All right. So that's a lot of that stuff assigned. I'm pretty sure we don't actually have enough beds, which is a pretty, it's a bit of a concern, really, uh, if we're being, you know, completely honest. That's not necessarily ideal, but I'll, I'll make it work, I'm sure. Uh, we might just need to assign some random beds here and there. We might very well need to do that. Um, let me, let me get that second, uh, potter, though. So, I reckon Allie is going to be our second potter. So, you can go ahead and be a potter. Congratulations. And I'm also thinking that we're going to need to get more buildings. We're going to need another... We're probably going to need another desert lodge, to be honest. Because these things are a real... They're a real good size for what we're doing here. Um, Is that the front of it? Or is that the front of it? That's the front of it. So the Desert Lodge would technically have to go, like, there. I don't know where to put this thing. It's a little big, is the thing. I mean, I could sort of throw it in there. I could definitely throw it in there. Um, and I mean... It doesn't look terrible in there. But it does block a lot of the buildings behind it. And I like the monuments being visible, you know? Um, so I think that's maybe not the ideal place for a desert lodge. Let, let's, let's remove that building for the time being. Uh, what about over here? If I was to go and say that I want to remove these trees. And all of that. And be that too. If we get all of that out there, we might be able to fit a desert lodge up there. Also, daily updates in. Yeah, wasn't really expecting much from that, to be honest. Um, now unfortunately we're gonna have to move all this wild silkweed over here, which is just a pain in the butt, really. Uh, so next up we're gonna move this one over to that spot. And we'll move the rest of it as well. Oh boy. Well, as it turns out, we can indeed get a desert lodge up on that bit of hill. We are gonna do just that. Because I think that's gonna look real good. Once it gets, uh, once it gets built, so kind of excited about getting a new desert lodge. We don't actually have the clay bricks necessary to do it, but we'll not worry too much about that because uh, we'll have those clay bricks eventually. Let me also bring a bit of a path over here. I think so. Something, uh, something a bit like this. I think it goes. Yeah, it goes to about there. This bit would go. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. That is gonna be real tricky to. Um, to properly connect. Huh. All right. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to play around with this a little bit. We might just have to sort of bring it in at a weird angle. So come in like that. Uh, that can come in like that. That goes to there. That comes along. That goes to there. And. That goes like that. I mean, I guess that'll sort of do. If we bring that out a little bit. Uh, bring that out a little bit. And bring that bit out a little bit. It gives us, you know, something interesting to, to work with here. And I don't mind it too much. It's just, you know, a little bit of a weird curve, but... Yeah, it's 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 a bit weird. Uh, let's go ahead and get like some structure around this just so it looks like it's You know supported uh, so we'll do this kind of thing Just to uh, just to add something a little bit interesting to the corner So get that around there get that to there and do that kind of thing. I Like it. I think that'll work uh, Not necessarily symmetrical the look that we're going for here but, I think it works. Although, maybe I will... <laughs> maybe I will just remove those bits to get that sort of... The symmetry going. I think that'll look a little better. And we can even go ahead and throw in some decorations. 
in the form of one of those. Because we haven't used many of those, so putting that in the corner could look kind of cool. Uh, so we'll say that that is done. We'll get that built. And I think that'll look really good. To be honest, getting that path run there, I think that's going to look really good. So a wagon approaches. Nothing I really want. Daily updates here. We're actually getting there with net worth. We might get a 29th hearthling today. Which, I mean, that'd be kind of cool. That would be, that would be kind of cool. I'm also just looking at the comments of the previous episode, and Sepifer has said that to get Sunflowers and Fox Lily, you need to be trading actively and fulfilling trade requests. Keep doing it, and you will eventually get better deals, and the sun, uh, including the Sunflowers. Okay. So basically, anytime someone's like, yo, do you want to do a thing? We got to be like, you're darn tootin' I want to do the thing. All right. Uh, so, so basically, we got to do more of the thing, uh, is, is what you're telling me. I'm also wondering if anyone's particularly miserable because they don't technically have a bed. Because I'm fairly confident in saying that we don't have enough beds. Uh, box crates. You know what? I might buy a bunch of that. 310 is what it would cost me for all of that, but whatever. Let's just buy it so we can have it. Let me also sell a few things here, because we have a few fine clay beds. So sell me all of those. Uh, I'm also going to just sell all of the beds. I know we kind of needed them, but I'll sell them anyway. We also have a lot of trees. So we'll sell all of those so we don't have to replant them. And that gave me a fair bit of money. So that's not so bad. We got some good money out of that. Also, I love that the road here is done already. Big fan of the fact that that little road's done, because it makes it quicker for these guys to run around. Like, they, they get around quite quickly in the roads, and I really like that. I really do like that as a detail, that they actually follow the little roads. Man, I'm so happy with this little settlement. I really am so happy with it. I also love that you can zoom out a little bit, and eventually you'll see them lighting up the, uh, the fire pits. Like those two, then that one. We'll probably see another couple go up. The ones over here will go up at some point. I still need to get storage in here, though. I still really like the idea of putting storage underneath this little hill over here. Especially with, like, the little kind of alleyway thing we could do here. I think that'd be kind of nice. Uh, would that go central? Eh, kind of. I do really like that as an idea, though. I think that'd be really fun to do. Just get the, uh, get the storage thing going over here. I might go for it. I might, I might, I might just, like, commit and just dig out a bunch of this. It might not be a bad idea. Um, like, we could throw it back there. Oh, we could put it in that corner. I mean, it's a weird spot for it, but we could totally do it. Um, to be honest, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine out this sort of... I can't really do layer by layer, is the thing. That's not, it's not really going to let me do layer by layer. Uh, could I do, like, a little wall there? I'm curious to see if it would let me. Uh, so if I was to go for this and be like, yo, I want a wall there. Can I get a door on that? Uh, no, because all the doors are too big. That would need to be like one bit wider for me to get a door on that. And I don't think any door would go central, unfortunately. Oh, we're very close with that. Uh, so let me remove the the wall, I guess. We'll say we're not going to build that. So finish, remove, remove. What if I was to mine out that column? And also mine out that column. And then put the walls between that. That might work. Seven wall clay lamps for a wooden sword. Sure. We'll do that. So seven wall clay lamps. Do we have any? We have four of them. All right, Potters. I need you guys to make me a bunch of wall clay lamps. I want, um, I want ten of them. Order's full. Oh, dear. Well, that's a problem. Uh, yeah, we might not get that done. 
Can I put that like a higher priority, please? Just like up there ish. So we got a bunch of those done. Um, I don't know how we're necessarily going to get this mine out. I might, I might need some ladders to do this. So we'll get some ladders in. We'll see if that actually lets them mine this because it might not. That might not be how this works. Because they're definitely not prioritizing the mining, are they? That's that's definitely not what's going on here. Uh, so maybe the ladders need to be on the corners themselves. So like that and like that. We'll see if that works. Because if I can get a little door in here, I'm going to be really happy. I just don't know if that's a thing I can do, so... We'll see what happens. Uh, how's, cons how's construction going over here? Pretty well, actually. Surprisingly. Uh, right, so the ladder's there. Oh, there we go. Well, that was easy. And fairly painless. Uh, so the ladders can go. At this point. And the wall can go back in. So from there to there. And then can I get a door that sits in the middle? Oh, I totally can! Alright, well that's nice. This one doesn't, but this one does. Okay, so that can go there, and that's honestly totally fine. Let's get a little rooftop on this. I kind of like the idea of going for something kind of like that. You know, just with a, with a bit, bit of texture to it and all that. Uh, and then maybe like a red sort of lip, just like that. In fact, maybe... We'll build up like this and give the whole thing that kind of red outline. I like that. I do like that. I think that's kind of cool. Um, as for actually putting things up here, I mean, I don't know if there's much point putting anything up here, but I mean, we could throw, we could throw one of these up. That no, doesn't really fit. We could throw two of those. Yeah, let's throw two of those right there. That doesn't seem unnecessary at all. Uh, we could throw some unfired clay vases up there. We could throw some bunnies if we wanted. Goblin honor tokens. Throw a couple of those. Now nah, we'll undo those. Those are a bit unnecessary. Uh, that's probably fine as is. So let's say we're finished and build. Daily update. Oh, hello. We're getting a 29th already. Tally. Hold up a minute. That name works. That name. Okay. Um, well, congratulations, Tally. You are actually going to be keeping your name, uh, which is weird to think about that. You know, after all this time, it was it took 29 hearthlings before we actually got one that kept their name. Uh, but that's fine. Let me also go ahead then and say that I would really, really like to um, carve out some of this mountain because that's a thing that we need to do here. Uh, so that is going to be carved out there. That's going to car be carved into there. And what we're going to do is carve across 12 and 12 like that. And we're going to sort of just get these, like, spaces for different groups of materials. And that'll be fine. So that's going to be our new storage area under there when it's done. It's not going to be the neatest thing in the world, but I reckon we can make something pretty cool out of that. I do reckon we can do some cool stuff with that. Uh, construction's going really well over here. Which is beautiful to see. Ali's got Potter level 2 already, so I'm, I imagine the Potters are doing some uh, some good work. I certainly hope the potters are doing some good work. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to pause building on that for a little while to give my potters more time. Because it also means that this will be built quicker, and it means this will be mined quicker as well. Which is definitely something we want. So the sooner this gets done, the better. Because it means we have our new storage area. And it means I can go into the mountain, I can remove all of these chests. And we can start storing stuff near... Er, nearer to where it's worked. And I think that's going to be good. I do think that's going to be... That's going to be a really good thing. We've also got all the lights coming up again. Man, I usually don't like nighttime in video games. You know, it's like... in Grand, You know when you're playing Grand Theft Auto and you're like... Yo, 
why is it always nighttime? Because you, you only ever notice nighttime in GTA. If you is that just me? Like you, you take daytime for granted because it's bright and sunny and all that, and then you're like, oh my god, it's it's like in real life as well. It's like, oh my god, it's so dark all of a sudden. No, it's not all of a sudden. You just you take daylight for granted. In this game, it's kind of the opposite. Well, no, I do I do notice nighttime, but I just I don't mind it because it looks beautiful. It really does. Uh, so this now needs to get the two fire pits up there and the door, and then the the structure itself is done, which is pretty cool. Then we just get the mining job to go there. But I am quite happy with that. It's a proper like little bunker thing back there. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's people sleeping too. They're having they're just having a bit of a snooze, and I'm quite okay with that. Anyone gonna put the fire pits up there? There's one of them going in. A lot of mining going too. Uh, armed goblin, is that something we need to worry about? Doesn't look like it. Which is good. Mining's going super quickly under there. Still not really seeing anyone with that second fire pit though. Which is a bit of a pain. Because it's supposed to have some symmetry going here, but whatever. Uh, 31,900 for the next Tarthling. Good lord. Maybe we'll get that Hearthling next time. That that might be a next episode Hearthling right there. That might very well be a next episode Hearthling. We'll see. We will absolutely see. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and give another harvest order for all of this stuff out here. So we can um, get a bunch more trees going. There we go. So we got that all going there. Uh, there we go. We got the two fire pits. That's going to give off some serious light as well, which I am quite okay with. We should also go to the Mason and see about getting a bunch of the stone chests made. We don't need them by any stretch of the imagination. At, we, we really don't need them. Um, hold up. Pause, pause, pause. Right. Um, 5, 10, 15. I think we're going to need 60 stone chests. So get me... About 60 of those, really. So get those made. Uh, a wagon approach is not interested. I am interested in the invaders, though. Yeah. Alert mode and red team. Go deal with it. Oh, that person's going to go die. Yeah. Amy is severely low on health. Red team, get revenge. Let's get revenge. We can also turn off alert mode because the bad guys are focusing on red team at this point. So kill the big guy. And kill the little guy. And someone go rescue Amy. Please. There we go. So Amy's being rescued. Which is good. She's going to be completely fine. As long as she's actually put in a bed. I think Amy does have a bed. So we'll, we'll be alright with that. Uh, mining is very close to being done under here. Not really sure why the combat music is still going. I really wish that bug would be fixed. Combat music so much louder and just like in your face than the regular music. It really is. It's so much louder. It's just like, yo, combat. What about it? What up? We're going to war. I'm just not a fan. Uh, I'm really, really not a fan. Oh, come on. They were so close to finishing that there. They really were so close to getting that finished. Oh, hello. I just... <laughs> it's night time again. Are we going to get some... Uh, we're going to get these lit up? That'd be nice. I really want to see how bright that area ends up being. Because that could look really cool. Uh, it might also be an idea to go ahead and throw down like two of these though. Just, you know, for another like level of decoration there. Just so that like they light up automatically as well. So even when the fire pits aren't stocked, we'd still have some lights. Which I think is going to be fairly important to do. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, they're still not mining though. Still definitely not doing much in the way of mining there. Oh, there we go. There's a one of those things going in anyway. Can we get the second one? Are they going to start ignoring the mining? No, no, they're not good. I was a bit worried because sometimes they do. Sometimes the hard things are like, yeah, yeah, we'll get to that later, boss. It's all good. 
Hey, boss, we'll get back to that later, okay? It's, uh, don't, don't worry, forget about it. Forget about it. Uh, <laughs> you know, because all of the, um, all of the hearthlings sound like that, basically. Every single one of them. Uh, oh, come on. They really are just taking so long with this. It's kind of silly. It is kind of silly. Daily updates in. That's fine. Why are they all running around these buildings? Like, what are they actually doing here? Oh, there we go. I just want it finished so I can start putting chests in there, you know? That's all I want. There we go. Right. So now that we're done with that, let's start placing some chests. And what I'm going to do, what I'm thinking, is one, two, three, four, five. And five from there. We'll get that trader in a second. Uh, we'll rotate. And we'll say one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So that's a bunch of storage immediately. Which I think is going to be good. So the trader approaches... Uh, seven oil, clay oil lamps for a stone mold. Sure. Not entirely certain we can do that, but we'll see how that goes. Um, my potters are really just super busy. They really are just so, so busy. Uh, but we should be alright. Right, so we got some storage in here. It shouldn't be too long before we can go ahead and start removing storage from the mountain. Which will be good, you know? That'll be, uh... That'll definitely be a good thing to do. Plus, people are using this already, so... I am really happy about that. I'm really happy to see that actually getting some use. Even though it is tucked away, you know, in the middle of nowhere. We have got, like, some storage under these buildings, and that's that's cool, you know? That's, that's some efficient storage. We've still got Patra, of course, but man, look at this area. How cool does this place look? I'm so happy with it. More invaders. No, 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 no. Uh, I really need to get Rad Team out here fighting more regularly, than I? So, Rad Team, come over here. Uh, you need to run away. So, that guy's gonna run away. He's gonna get away. This guy's gonna get destroyed. Hopefully. There we go. And then the big guy gets destroyed as well. There we go. Not a problem. Rad Team, I want to... Oh, hello. We're doing more fighting, apparently. I want to get these guys defending the main gate. I am a little bit tired of them being so far away when someone gets attacked that uh, the person t actually takes damage. So you know, if they if they'd hang around the main gate, that would uh, that would be that'd be just fabulous, really. That would just be uh, the bee's knees, some might say. But uh, I wouldn't. That's a phrase that I I don't know why, but I have an irrational. Disliking to the phrase the bee's knees. I also am not a fan of the cat's pajamas. That's another phrase that people like to use to describe things what are good. Uh, not not a fan of the cat's pajamas. Again, don't really know why. Uh, just sort of an irrational like meh to that kind of thing. Uh, combat music for a goblin up in the mountain. I mean, sure. All right. Why not? Why not combat music for a goblin up on the mountain? That's fine, I suppose. Uh, do we have any good warriors that are currently working? Because we have a lot of workers. And we actually, we've got a level five there. So Abby could very well become a footman. That's tempting. Very tempting. Um, you know what, Abby? Congratulations. You've been promoted to footman. We're going to get another warrior. I think that's going to be a good idea. Uh, we can also go ahead and say that we can continue building the, uh, whatever this is, Desert Lodge over here. So hopefully that'll go very well. Especially now that storage is just underneath here. That's going to make it much, much easier for um, goods to get to the construction site. Yeah, I think I think this is going to be a good bet. Uh, net worth not really increasing all that much there. Not too worried about it, though. Yeah, I'm excited to see how that uh, 
that new storage area, you know, works with construction. I think I'm also gonna go, to go through here very slowly and start removing um, all the stuff from these. I'm gonna have to just set them to none for the time being, though, which is a total pain because uh, it means I'm gonna have to do a lot more clicking for these. But we'll set these to none. And they'll start to slowly move the stuff out of them, I imagine. A lot of these are quite full as well. But I think we'll have enough space in the new storage area to make this work. I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. So we'll get that all out of there. A lot of it's going to be moved into these other chests over here, which is okay for the time being. Uh, because, you know, it's going to be a gradual process. We're not going to suddenly switch to the new storage area. So we get those in there. Um, yeah, I, I do think this is going to be, I do think this is going to be a great little, uh, little area. Very tempted to throw in some of the large crates, to be honest. Just for the heck of it. So something a bit like that. And, uh, something a bit like that as well and that as well I think we'll just get some large crates in the middle to um you know add a bit more storage really plus it adds a bit of variety which is always nice uh do we have any good lights to throw in here we have these stone wall lanterns I think I'll throw um I think I'll throw some of those in here what was that alert for a second, I'm not certain if it did, but it looked like that might have said that someone was severely low on health. It doesn't say. Is someone dead? Or dying? Um. I don't see any major alerts. So I'm going to assume that everybody's fine. And I'm going to hope that everybody's fine as well, because if they're not, we have a problem. Oh, wow, there's so much wood just lying out here. We're definitely going to need to collect all of that at some point fairly soon. Definitely going to need to, uh... Collect all of that at some point soon. Uh, let's see if we can... Oh, we do have some of the crates in there. I would really like to see the lights get put in here pretty quickly. Because it lights it up really nicely. That one lamp just that gives a bit of a nice, uh, nice effect. I like it. I do like it. There we go. Uh, let's head back over to here for the time being and see if we can start to... Now nah, we're not going to be able to undeploy those for a while. But that's okay. We can, uh, we can totally make it work. Any more chests to be placing? We have four more. Two. Oh, not there. Oh, not like that. Don't place it like that. Don't place it like that. That needs to be moved, if someone wouldn't mind. Come on, let's get to it. Let's get placed in the wrong chest. Because I'm a freaking idiot. Okay, don't place... Alright, I mean, are we gonna place that one? Guys? Are we just gonna... Are we just gonna ignore that one? Because I'm okay with that. I'm okay with ignoring that. Goblin sneaks into camp. No, he doesn't. Daily update. Uh, getting there. Definitely getting there. How's this construction going as well? Yeah, you know what? This, this, I think this is going a little bit quicker now that we have storage underneath the construction area. I do like that. So you place the lamp, but not the chest. Okay, to each their own, I suppose. You're putting the crates in. All right, fair enough. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, I reckon I'm going to leave it there for today's episode. Bit of a longer one than we've had uh, before. I mean, it's not the longest, I don't think, but it's a bit of a longer one regardless. Uh, next episode is going to be part 15 and is going to be the finale of this series. Honestly... I don't really think we're going to have much of an epic finale. I think I'm just going to try and wrap things up. I'll go for the 30th Hearthling and I'll try and just complete all of our construction projects between episodes. Um, simply put, I think we're just doing really well here. I don't think there's any need for like a grand, epic, amazing finale. 
I think the Nerds of the Mountain is uh, a bit of a success story. I don't think we're going to be challenged all that much by um, bad guys or anything like that, which to some of you might be a shame, but to me, it's actually a really nice change of pace. I don't usually get to build things like this in Hearth uh, Hearthstone. <laughs> Hearthstone! That's actually a common... Uh, mistake people make. Uh, Stray Goblin Wolf. I don't think we need to worry about that because Stray Goblin Wolves generally just run through. There is a Goblin Camp over there, though, which is a bit of a worry. Um, but yeah, I, I reckon I'll leave it there for today. Next episode is going to be the final episode. We'll just try and wrap up the uh, completion of the new storage zone. We can also go ahead and just see about finishing construction, do some final details, and leave it there with the nerds of the mountain. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you kind of for watching. This has been Stonehearth Alpha 21, uh, part 14. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>